Okay, I'm back. And what I was talking about in the last video, I mentioned the place that I'm going to do, we, well, our group is going to do this weekend. I'm not sure if it's Friday night or Saturday. Well, I would say it's going to be on Saturday night. Chances are. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to doing the place or doing the area, which is good. And I have a, a house lined up, a private home lined up that I have to do. I just, we just have to get the scheduling correct. I just have to get the scheduling correct with the homeowners. So that's because they've been having, she's been, the lady that owns the place, been having some kind of strange paranormal things, she thinks, maybe. You know, like one of her lights keeps flicking off and on. And it's not electrical, it's because I already looked at it. So electoral is out of the question. So I'm going to do her place, or do their home, her and her husband's home, just to see how that works out. And hopefully, hopefully that will work out good. I just got to have a taste of uh, ginger ale. Because it's really hot here today. It's 33 degrees here today. And last week it was, last week you had to wear a coat. Go figure. Then they blame it on climate change. Then they blame it on the on uh, the ozone and it, everything else. Ozone, my ass. It's climate change and it's Earth. I think personally, it's the Earth's doing its natural cycle, natural cleansing cycle. And I get you know, but anyway, back to uh, ghost hunting. Uh, a guy asked me the other day, and this guy is probably he's older than I am because I'm only young. <laughs> uh, this guy asked me about how come I get why do I do ghost hunting and I told him I said why I said would you like me to start at the beginning <laughs> so I, I started I told him you know about when I was 13 years old and the paranormal the very strong and serious paranormal experience I had and I told him when I started when I really start getting into it really deep and like really wanting to do it like like not even really a want it's like a need i guess it's like a drug i find it like a drug i really do i find it like a drug because i find that the more i do it the more i want to get in want to do it and the more i want to do it it seems like a need almost it's not a need it's not a need i know that but it's to the point that it's almost a need. Like, I really do love it. There is no better feeling in this world. And I don't care what drug you're on. You could be on, you could be on crack, cocaine. You could be on just plain, you can be on coke. You could be shooting up pain pill. You can be banging up, shooting up pain pills. You could be shooting up smack. You could be popping pain pills or popping uppers, downers, whatever. You could be doing fucking trank. You could be doing horse tranquilizers, so far as I care. But the thing is, what I mean is, when you go to a cemetery, just I'll just use a cemetery for an example, an old cemetery. It doesn't really have to be old cemetery either. You go to a cemetery, for example, right? And you go in there, pitch black, no lights, nowhere. No lights, no it's just you and your team. Or if you go by yourself, it's just you. And you go into a cemetery and you find every, you know, you go in. And I'm not going to lie, it is creepy to a point. It does have its moments, right? But everything has its moments in life. And the way it works is, like I told this guy, I said, I said, there's no better feeling in the world than... And especially if you come in contact with a with a, with an entity, whether it be human or non-human, it doesn't make no difference. I love all entities, whether they're human or non-human, whether they're demonic or whatever. I love them. I really do. Now I know that might sound twisted to some people, but that's your choice. You know, everybody has their own way. But anyway, like I told them, I said. I just felt a calling for it, man. I really did. It's like it's like I felt a calling for it. It's like I had to do it. Because 
I am after helping. I know I am. You know, and some people would probably say I'm just pumping, you know, shooting, whack, 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 or whatever, but no, sorry, I'm not. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the paranormal, and when it comes to anything paranormal. And if I don't know, I will find out. I will do my best to find out. And I don't care who thinks what. Nobody knows everything. But I, if I can't find out, I, if, I can't, if I don't know right offhand, I will research it and research it to death, trying to find the answers for it. And if I can find the answers, great. If I can't, well, you know, I guess I'll, I just have to improvise. <laughs> anyway, this, uh, this video is going to be long enough because I'm going to throw it on Facebook. In my uh, in my paranormal group on Facebook, so I'm going to uh, do another one right after. Okay, thank you. Bye. Obviously, tennis.